this huge animal that I've never seen up close like that, this partial tiger was there lying on the floor and everybody was there skinning it out. It was a way of life for us. We did a lot of hunting and fishing. It's ever since I can remember. And it went hand in hand with the taxidermy company. The company has become a landmarker for folks navigating through South Austin. Being the second generation taxidermist, I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to continue to have a presence here in South Austin. I originally got started as an apprentice. Doing the work, I found out that I really enjoyed it. Matter of fact, I got to the point where I really loved the job. My goal was to open my own shop. That's the best way to do it. I look at it as a tool, really, a place to be able to work and to make my livelihood and pass it on from generation to generation. If we didn't own this building, we wouldn't be here. The city of Austin has gone up so high on their taxes. Taxidermists can't afford to pay taxes and have a shop. In the old days was your pride and joy was you did this, you made this. You learned everything from scratch. And when they don't know how to do it from scratch, it's just too much overhead. You start getting in the red. Things change around you. And if you don't adapt, then you're outdated. A lot of the established companies, mom and pop shops, are leaving. They're being forced to leave the area. The companies that are still there have changed with the times. I've opened a advertising company that is housed in the taxidermy shop as well. By leasing out the exterior wall, we're gonna be fortunate to stay and continue my dad's legacy. And for one day when he is gone, he won't completely be gone. Part of him will remain here with the taxidermy as long as we keep it here and going.